Hi and welcome. In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a J option pane dialogs. And I will show you three basic dialogs uh, message dialog, input dialog, and uh, confirm dialog. All of these uh, three dialogs are application modal, and uh, that means they will block your J frame and wait for your action when they are displayed. So, first dialog I'm going to show you is a message dialog. It's uh, very simple and it's also very customizable. And uh, it basically pop pops up as uh, some message, uh, whether it's information, warning or error message. So, here I already created my class. Let's also create a JFrame, JPanel and one JButton. Title will be like J option A demo. Let's make J panel. And J button. Text will be like call a message, call dial. generate constructor and let's add button on our panel and let's add panel on our frame panel. let's call pack method and set visible method Okay, that's it. Now uh, let's add action listener on our button. Okay, and here I'm going to call my message dialog from a uh, J option pane class and uh, show message dialog is basically a static method, so you don't have to instantiate your J option pane class. And I'll say show message dialog. Uh, first argument uh, is uh, basically a parent component, and it's mostly a no, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, second argument will be text inside of your dialog, basically on um, information you are passing. So let it be like this is a simple dialog. Okay, and these are two obligatory arguments, but there are few also optional arguments. For example, let me run this first, okay, to show you what we have actually. And of course, I have this call dialog button. Okay, let me call dialog. And as you can see, it says this is a simple dialog. This is text inside of our uh, show message dialog. And as you can see, also, if I try to click on my JFrame, it will block me. It uh, blocks access and uh, waits for my action. And I'll just close or click OK. It doesn't matter now. And also you can pass a few other arguments, for example, as a third argument I can pass a title for my message dialog, and it will be like uh, message. By default it's message, by, but let's say like message dialog, okay. And also I'll have to pass this fourth uh, argument, which uh, determines type of our information, for example, In this case, it's uh, information message, but also I can pass like like error message. Let me see. Okay, error message, and I can say as a text, uh, for example, connection failed. Okay, that will be error. 
Alt Scroll. And as you can see, this icon changes. Okay. And also, it can be warning message. And I can say, hmm, this is a board. I don't know. Okay. And as you can see, icon changes again. But also, I can remove this icon by just passing plain message. And call this. As you can see, there is no icon anymore. And also, I said that uh, these dialogs are very customizable. And by that, I mean you can pass your own component inside of it. For example, or you can even pass a whole content pane, like a J panel with set of other components. And for example, let's, let's create our JText area. Okay. And let it be like 10 by 10. And here, I'm going to pass a new instance of my JScroping class. So I'll pass basically a JScroll pane with the text area on, instead of my text. Okay. Let me call it. And as you can see, now we have our own, our basically custom dialog with uh, this uh, JText area inside. Okay. Uh, next dialog I would like to show you is a uh, input dialog and it's uh, very useful for small inputs and you'll see what I mean by that. Uh, let me first comment this okay, format and uh, let's call that input dialog. Show input dialog. Uh, first argument will be, of course, parent, which is no. And second argument will be a, a message, basically. And I'll say, like, enter some, enter title for J3, for example. Okay. And uh, this dialog returns string value as you can see here. Okay. So I'm going to create a new string variable like string title. Okay. And uh, I'll set this title on our J3. Okay. Let me run this. Okay. And it says enter title for JFrame. And I'll say like uh, tutorial. Okay. And I'll say okay. And as you can see, our title changes now. And finally, third dialog I want to show you is a confirm dialog. It's basically a simple set of buttons which uh, determines what will happen next with your program after that dialog. So I'll say J option pane show confirm dialog. And it will be no, no, not bold. Okay. And for example, I'll say like text, are you sure? you want to close a uh, J frame. Okay, let me run this. Okay. And it says this message, it displays this message. Are you sure you want to close a J frame? And these three buttons, yes, no, or cancel. But I can also determine what buttons I want. Okay. And also I can pass two 
by passing to other arguments. And the uh, second argument will be title, which is select an option. And third, uh, actually fourth argument will be uh, buttons we want. For example, J option in and I'll say like OK and uh, cancel option. So we will only have two buttons in this case, OK and cancel. And as you can see here. But the uh, question you will probably ask is how to handle events at all with this dialog? So how to know what the uh, user clicked Okay, let's uh, do that also. You can see here that uh, show confirm dialog returns an integer value. So let's create some variable like result. Okay, and I'll say if result equals J option A, OK option, I'll say frame dot expose. Let me run this now. And I'll call my dialog. And if I click cancel, nothing will happen again. But if I click OK, our frame just disposed and that should be it when it comes to dialogues from J option pain class. See you next time. Bye.